Hi guys, today we're going to cover the next key component in our new product line, Frogs & Co. Introducing our bioactive substrate, the Exoterra Substratum. So what is bioactive? I've mentioned this a few times now. The concept of a bioactive terrarium is to try and replicate the symbiotic relationships that you would find in the wild. The forest floor is not just dirt. It actually is a mix of different decaying organic matter, which would consist of wood, leaves, and animal waste. Amongst this organic matter, you will find nature's cleanup crew, or who we are calling your terrarium's cohabitants. The introduction of springtails, isopods, and other uh, invertebrates to your terrarium uh, is very beneficial and will help break down that decaying organic matter and keep your terrarium clean. Our Exoterra substratum is soil collected from the mineral-rich foothills of Mount Aso, which is Japan's largest active volcano. This soil happens to contain carbon and is very nutrient-rich. The porous structure of the individual substrate pellets is ideal for drainage and aeration, which will in turn promote the growth of plant roots. Its structure will also allow for a healthy population of beneficial nitrifying bacteria. Our Exoterra substratum contains dormant bacillus beneficial bacteria that springs to life once it comes in contact with water and waste. The combination of beneficial bacteria and carbon will combat against harmful bacteria, mold growth, and foul odors. Substratum can be used in three different ways. As a drainage layer, mixed in with other organic substrates, and finally as a sole substrate. This is when you have combined your drainage layer and substrate all in one. We also discovered that substratum can be used as an excellent substrate media for raising colonies of springtails and tropical isopod species. Let's show you two different bioactive setup methods. In the tree frog terrarium, we're going to use substratum as a drainage layer. Whereas in the dart frog terrarium, we're going to use the bio-drain terrarium draining substrate as the drainage layer. Okay, as we mentioned, I'm going to be using our bio-drain terrarium draining substrate for the drainage layer in the dart frog terrarium. Prior to using this, we're going to rinse it in a colander. Done. Let's start adding substratum into the base of the terrarium. I'm just going to pour it in like this. And we're going to start spreading it evenly to create that two inch drainage layer we're looking for. So that was one. 8.8 pound bag. You're definitely probably going to want to use at least a second bag to create that adequate drainage layer that you're looking for. In the end, I added another 4.4 pound bag of substratum to achieve the inch and a half to two inches of drainage layer that I'm looking for. Now I'm ready to add our BioDrain terrarium draining mesh onto the drainage layer. The reason for using the mesh is to prevent having your substrate fall into the drainage layer and mixing in with it. You don't want this to happen. Our drainage mesh comes in four different sizes to match the various sizes of our exoteric terrariums. So we're going to place this over the drainage layer and have it meet all edges of the glass to prevent the substrate from falling in. It's okay to have the drainage mesh come up a little bit in the back as typically you're going to be moving substrate to create a little bit of a gradient towards the back of the terrarium. All right, that's good enough for now. Let's move on to the dart frog terrarium. Let's add the 
BioDrain terrarium draining substrate into the dart frog terrarium. We're gently pour it in. Don't pour in everything right away. You don't want to spread this out evenly. Make sure that your drainage layer does go up above the drain. That is always important. One thing to consider, the ventilation strip on the dart frog terrarium is quite a bit lower than the tree frog terrarium. You don't want to block this up with your substrate. So make sure your drainage layer is maybe a bit thinner. I'm going to say about an inch maximum in the front. You can always end up adding more substrate towards the back, as I've mentioned with the previous terrarium. So let's add a little bit more. Again, spreading it evenly. Now let's push some out towards the back. So this was two bags, two 4.4 pound bags. Now let's place the drainage mesh. We're ready to place substrate into the terrarium. So let's get on to making our bioactive mixes. All right, let's make our bioactive terrarium substrate mix. I already have four liters of water here prepared and we're going to treat it with our aquatized terrarium water conditioner. This is to neutralize chlorine, chloramine, and any heavy metals two drops per liter. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It is instantly neutralized. Now we're gonna take our primary ingredient, the exoterra substratum, pour in one entire bag, 4.4 pounds. Now to add some extra chunk to it, we're going to use our rainforest substrate. This is a mix of bark and sphagnum moss. Our next ingredient, this is our dual layer equatorial forest floor substrate. We're not gonna add the leaves just yet. You can if you wish, but we're gonna add the plantation soil that comes included with it. This is gonna help hold a lot more moisture in our bioactive substrate mix. In the case of the tree frog terrarium, I'm gonna be using this very large and tall piece of wood, or what you would call the hardscape in your terrarium setup. I'm going to place this inside the terrarium, just double check to make sure that I have enough height. This is something you might always want to do and right away I could tell, okay, I don't want to have to alter this piece of wood and it is nearly touching the screen. So I think what we're going to do in this case is uh, leave it in place and place the substrate in and around it. So because now it's pushing down on the substrate drainage mesh, 
let's just make sure we have it placed exactly how we want because it once it is placed how we want it's gonna stay there like that okay just gonna pull it a little bit further forward all right we're ready i have the substrate conveniently placed here on the stand and i'm going to begin placing the substrate into the terrarium we're going to start with the front and work our way to the back why is because again i was mentioning earlier you don't want to end up blocking the ventilation strip this is going to block our patented uh, ventilation system of the terrarium so i'm going to still leave another inch or so uh, of space underneath the ventilation strip because I know I'm gonna be adding a layer of moss on top of this substrate and then even leaf litter. Okay, we're done. Let's fill in the dark frog terrarium now. I'm going to place my pieces of driftwood. So there you have it. I've shown you the basics of creating an effective drainage layer and bioactive substrate mix using our new Exoterra substratum. Stay tuned to the next video where I'll cover our new Terra Sky, an effective LED light for plant growth. And we'll finally get to introducing some plants to these terrariums. Thanks for watching today and we'll see you next time. Find us on social media or visit exoterra.com. Exoterra. Make your reptiles feel at home.